Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And in today's video, we're gonna talk all about hanging an LED wall, how to set up a hanging LED wall, how to do it safely, how to do it properly, so that you get good results in the end. So what we're gonna do is walk you through that process today. If you're new here, what we do is we try to take lighting and audiovisual concepts and simplify them down so anybody can understand them. Even if you're new at this, we want you to learn how to do lighting and audio and video and do an awesome job. So let's dive in. We have here today a very typical LED wall panel, right? Um, and I've gone ahead and to start, I've mounted my panels and I've got two of them up already. I'm going to add my third one in a second to their hanging bars. Okay, let's talk about hanging bars for a hot second. Hanging bars are these bars that look like this, that have a big old eye hook on them, locks for your LED panels. And sometimes, like these ones from DVS that I really do love, um, they also have the feet for being a ground support bar, the adjustable feet. So you can level things out, have a really nice ground support bar. Okay, um, so these are awesome. So what we've done here to begin is I've got a panel and let's show you how this works. So I've got a hanging bar here, it's already on. Okay, and all I'm gonna do is take my latches and undo them. Now, this is still technically sort of kind of locked to the bar itself. I say sort of kind of because um, because it, if it wiggles too much, it will come loose. But I smack the little latches inside the top here. The spring-loaded locks pop out. And now the bar is removed. So back to a starting point. If we were starting from scratch, putting this wall together, we would have our corner protectors on from being in the case, from, from walking around, all right? And so the first thing we're going to do that we already started in hanging the wall is get our truss or whatever we have ready for the hanging. In this case, I'm using steel loaded span sets in order to hang the wall over my truss. Obviously, as we talk about from time to time here, we can't give out rigging advice on the internet. Um, if you know how to use span sets or have someone who can teach you, they're a great option. If not, hey, no worries. Um, for LED walls, we also have clamps from the light source or from global truss that we can get that allow you to have an eye hook straight from a, a truss to be able to hang your wall. The next thing is to do the math on your panels, how heavy they are, how many you're hanging, and if the structure you're hanging them from can support that weight. Okay, again, we don't give any advice on the internet. Um, panels like these are from 15 to 20 pounds typically per panel. You can add them up, see your total weight, look at your load charts, talk to whoever hung uh, you know, the rigging in your facility, see if you're using crank up towers or a truss arch like this, you know, see if it's capable of holding what it is. If it is, then we can move on to the next point. Okay. And the next point being, and I don't want to scare you away with that because there's lots of great ground support options, even truss arches like this, we can help you understand the math on that. Uh, if you're purchasing a wall through learn stage lighting gear to get that figured out. Okay. We put the, the rigging bar on and this is a great way to demonstrate the latches to you. So I'm obviously building this wall backwards. Um, that's important to say. And so we line this up. Um, these panels in particular have top and bottom alignment pins. So to line up the panels, to line up the rigging bars, there's pins to help do that. And then we just push through the pin. Make sure it's lined up really good and tight. Sometimes it takes a try or two just if things aren't quite lined up. Like here, it hasn't gotten tight. It's still wiggling. It's still loose. That tells me that something's not quite lined up. That's right. Again, this is where we catch David making a stick because he's on camera and not thinking. And anytime you have these pins not locking together right, it could be that you left your corner protectors off. So we take those kids off. Hey, now it's going to align much better. And that's, that's where when these latches don't go together, that's always a warning sign of like, hey, what did I do wrong while I was presenting to a class of people on the internet as to how to do this, right? Because now, first try, they tighten up nice. If they're still loose when you've turned them all the way to the other side, 
um, you know you have a problem, okay? And it's really important to get this stuff right, right? To make sure they're latched in good. Now, we have a series. We have two side handles, great for carrying to hold the panel up. And then we have one top handle, not ideal in this situation. You definitely want a friend from this part, which is where this becomes a do as I say, not as I do, right? Because I'm in here by my office by myself. I didn't feel like throwing my nine-year-old into it. Um, that wouldn't be the safest thing ever. I mean, he can lift 20 pounds. But regardless, um, so I'm going to take this. Again, we're building the wall backwards to show you, and in the next video to show you how to wire it. Um, but for now, I'm just going to take this. I'm going to have my shackle ready to connect it to my span set. I'm going to carry it over. In this case, I'm using the top handle. I would typically have your friend go behind the wall, use these two side handles. That's going to be a much better bet for you on most LED panels. So we're going to take that, take off our bottom corner protectors. Connect up my shackle. Excellent. So now we're hanging in the air. We're pretty close to the other panels in the line that we've already connected. You'll also notice that I've gone ahead and left my cables in the back of each panel. That's kind of optional. There's different people have different preferences there. I honestly like just keeping the, the cables in the back. I know I'm good to go. Some people like to just connect them all and stick them in a box. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, so then we'll take our seam here and we've got them close together. I'm just going to zhuzh it in just a little with my span sets. All right. Check that all my corner locks, my corner protectors rather, are off. And then go ahead and tighten these up. Perfect. Now we're ready to continue on with our next row. Next rows means that as we come down, it's going to be really the same process. Lifting up panels, connecting them in, tightening them down. So I'm going to fast forward so you don't have to watch me through that. And I'll do these two panels, come back with this panel, just so we can demonstrate doing the side locks and the top locks at the same time. All right, so back at it. We've got five panels up here. We're going to add a six panel to finish this really small wall, right? Um, so again, the process. Very important stuff, a couple things to really note about LED panels, how to find good ones, etc. One is I'm going to pop it out of the case. All right, so I got my case here. Grab it by its top handle. Okay. Make sure my corner protectors are all off. Always make sure that before I'm lifting it into my wall. Again, this is really painfully difficult. Um, it's not super fun by yourself, which is why I recommend having a friend, even if they're not a technical person. To help you with this. Boom. Latch one. Latch two. Nice and tight. Then side latches. And like that, we've got a hanging LED wall basically set up. So key points to remember from today's video is A, hanging bars. Usually we hang those first, bring the panel up to it. But if you have limited labor, sometimes it makes more sense to pre-mount the bar and then lift it up and hook it onto your support structure. Um, in my case today, that's how I did it. Line those up really nice. Get your first row good. As you do bring up more panels, okay, um, it's really helpful to have someone on the front side. Just placing their finger on the seams, paying attention right before they lock down, and just making sure that that seam lines up perfectly. Even the panels that have the magnetic assist or pins to make them line up, they don't always line up perfectly. Just having a finger on that seam as it comes in can help that panel to line up properly. Or if you start to see a seam that's not going together perfectly, you just let the people on the back side of the wall know, hey, guys, look out for this. You know, let's adjust these panels before we get much further. Because it's the kind of thing that if you have a problem that starts up high, it's only going to get worse as it goes lower. If you fix it on the front end, it's going to make everything easier. Okay. Um, locks, of course, they have to be tight. If they're wiggling around loose, they're not locked properly. And that is a serious safety concern. Um, and then cabling, which we'll get to in the next video. We'll talk about 
how to bring these panels together, how you need to wire them so that they work, and all that and more. So I'll go wipe off my sweat and we'll see you guys in the next video. But hey, before we get there, check out Learn Stage Lighting Labs if you haven't, if you want to learn more about lighting. And if you're looking to purchase lights, LED walls, anything else, just like the walls we've got here, over at Learn Stage Lighting Gear, our mission is to be just the most honest, helpful, truthful vendors in the lighting and AV business. Okay, so if you're looking for a wall, we've got a lot of people's walls that we can get for you, and we have some favorites. We have the ones that we think provide the most value, and they're not the ones we make the most money on. Nope, they're not. Um, but we do what's right for people. We want to win your business for the long term. So if you're looking for an LED wall, if you're looking for lights, reach out to us over at Learn Stage Lighting Gear. Check out our LED wall calculator and more. We'll see you guys there. Thanks.